survey. So we see the manifestation. We see the declaration of of the image to the beast. We see the declaration of the image to the beast and its purpose fulfilled and laboring to overflow its cup with satanic desire. It's laboring to be like Antichrist. And that's what they're all doing. Every single one of them that has been evaluated by God, the image of the beast and those precious stones and jewels and pearls that are reside in false apostate Christianity, all will labor as one mind, one voice, and one singular vision with Antichrist. So, and they're laboring to overflow their cup with illicit desires and to overthrow the constitution of man as God resides within it and passively pours out the fruits of life within all flesh. So the image of the beast is seeding the world with the spirit of Antichrist to reap a harvest of service to death, of death and service to death in satanic ascension. Romans chapter 7 Verse 5, for when we are in the flesh, the motions of sin which were by the law did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. And 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 through 7. Here is specifically the harvest that the image of the beast is laboring to fulfill within its own life and within its environment. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own self, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, and holy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinence, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but, but denying the power of, from such turn away. Okay? Here it is again, just as Proverbs chapter 4, verse 14 and 19. When you see this, turn away, pass by it, avoid it. Go ahead. And then in Proverbs 23, 31 and 32, when he appears after he's cultivated all his children with the worship of death, we're not to look at him. We're not to look at him because everybody that is captivated by him will be manifestly gazing upon his presence and relying on upon him as a child does its father because they are now captivated with the mark of the beast and they are going to the same place that he's going and they are one mind one voice and one singular vision with the king that has now appeared as manifested by the ministry of the image to the beast that is that is harvesting the world for satan that's what he's doing he's he's a he's the most, the worst human being, Ezekiel seven twenty four. I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. And I will make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. God's declaring this destruction of the worship of death and the mark of the beast, Babylonian captivity upon all the kings of the world that don't love Him, and the rich people of the world. I will make the pomp of the strong to cease. They're in captivity now, on pain of death, to the image of the beast. And, their, and false apostate Christianity, and their holy places shall be defiled. They chose that. They chose to fellowship with the image of the beast and to communion. To take. They chose to drink of the cup of communion with the image of the beast, and he, he transformed them by anointing them with the same anointing with which he was anointed by the beast and the dragon, and he captivated, and at the last, it stung like an adder, and it bit like a serpent, and he forced them on pain of death into Babylonian captivity and into eternal darkness and blackness after the judgments of God are made manifest upon them. Jeffrey Leon, if you're if you're edified by this program, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, receive notifications of future installments. Remember, you can come to the throne room of God today and receive your healing directly if you're abiding in mercy and grace, as manifested by Matthew chapter 13, verse 10 through 15. Thank you.